everybody's in. Let's mute the music. Let's get the stream on the board. You guys don't want to look at that graphic any more times. Seven great looking people, I agree. Seven is too many for our whole game. And that is a quick start from TT Cody V. <laughs> it is just Cody, I'm gonna call him Cody for the rest of the, uh, the series here, but it just, it flows so well. He's uncontested on the kickoff, just beats the uh, the first uh, player on the ball for Emerald Pixies, and he's able to slot it home. Two seconds into the match here. And Radiant Sky Blue in the lead. Emerald Pixies need a win tonight to stay within playoff contention. Let's see if they can really take it to this Sky Blue team who has already dropped a game this season, but grab the two more wins after dropping the first match of the season in week one, one three to Apollo's Flame. 30 seconds into the match here. And Sky Blue with the lone goal off of the kickoff from Cody. Accomplish, can't get past Ren who puts it off the wall into the middle, but Loki's got it stopped. And Actually powers through a demo and gets a great 50 that pushes it into the midfield, but Ren passed him off the back wall. Reaper the cleanup shot on target and the back for flip from Loki. Tried to put it over the bar and out, but he couldn't make contact. He was close though. This was a really nice idea from him. Almost at it. That was Paper Lime, excuse me. They have very similar looking cars. They both have the Fennec and I just got confused, but that was a really good attempt from him and uh, you just couldn't get the clear on it completely and it will be a second. Tacked on for Radiant Sky Blue. First minute come and gone now. Not a lot of offensive pressure so far for the Emerald Pixies, but they might get one here as that's centered to accomplish, and he just slots it home, walks it into the net. A minute and three seconds into this first game, and they'll grab the first goal of the board. Accomplish puts it away. The lead cut down to one. Now, Emerald Pixies, this is going to be huge. If they can take a game and, you know, tie things up and then possibly take this game two. Or game one, excuse me. Because they haven't won a single game all season. All three matches have been 0-3 sweeps. But they've been looking solid, at least in the uh, the footage that I've seen. They just, sometimes you can, you just kind of, you know, the other team escapes with a win. And, you know, it's not much you can do about it. And right now they are putting up definitely a fight here. 2-1 game here. 3-30 to go. Cody sends it upfield to Reaper, grabs the corner boost, takes it away from Accomplish, but Cody unable to get there as Paper Lime takes it away and past the midfield line. Ren back up to himself, off the ceiling looking for a second touch, can't find it though. Loki clears Accomplish, tries to work past, but Reaper takes out Loki and he'll have to reset as the ball is sent all the way back to the orange baseline. 3.07 to go, Paper Lime stands still and Clears it right to Reaper, puts it back on target, and Paper Lime grabs the save. Three minutes to go. Still 2 1. Ren tries to take out Accomplish, does slow him down, but Paper Lime will get it out of the box. Cody's missed it. Paper Lime has missed it. Accomplish takes over, banks it off the wall. Reaper breaks up the pass, though. Cody up for it from a long distance jump there. And now Reaper puts it on target. Accomplish sends it away. Reaper's third shot. And has one goal to show for it as we approach halftime in game number one. That almost rolls in, but Loki gets a stop on the goal line. And Paper Lime takes it away. Cody back through, but Paper Lime on another clear. This time all the way to the midfield line. Ren sends it over the backboard. Reapers pre-jump that by a mile. Finds a shot on target, but it is going to bounce high. And Radiant Sky Blue still leads just 2-1 to one here with two minutes to go. Nice demo from... I believe it was Cody, as he also registers a shot on target, and that will put a little more pressure on this Emerald Pixies roster, as there's just a little bit less boost to work with, but the pressure will crack, and Emerald Pixies will get through the midfield, and it'll break out as that one's put over the top. Reaper backflips for it, but it will go over nonetheless. Nice clear from Reaper. And oh no, Paper Lime mishandles it. It's going to roll in for Radiant Sky Blue. It's going to be 3-1 with a minute 44 to go. And it's going to roll in. One forty-four to go. Radiant Sky Blue extends their lead to two off of a missed touch from Paper Lime. Let's see what Emerald Pixies can do to try to get that lead cut back down to one and maybe even tie it here. They've got a minute 30 to work with now. <laughs> A 
accomplish. Around the corner, Cody shuts things down. And now looks infield to Reaper. Reaper going for the pinch, but he's going to put it wide. Paper Lime takes it across his box. It's a dangerous play from him, but he's going to get it successfully to accomplish. That's 50 right back in the midfield. Reaper fouled <laughs> on the attempt up. Not actually. <laughs> and he's knocked away. Can't get through, and it's still 3-1. But here, Radiant Sky Blue looking for a fourth possibly, but Reaper is... Uh, Clear unsuccessful to uh, find it in the middle, mid, ugh, in the middle of the box to possibly get a scoring attempt. Cody lands on it and keeps the pressure on for now, but no one's challenging. Cody comes right back around to it though, puts it into the opposite corner and accomplish settles and then pinches. And Ren shuts it down in midfield. No one is wavering here, but ice. That's a nice pass to Reaper. His pass back into the midfield finds nobody but air. 30 seconds left. Radiant Sky Blue. Trying to just keep the pressure in and hold the lead. Nice clear from accomplish off that corner wall, though. And Reaper has to backtrack to stop it. And then is completely challenged by accomplish. Reaper clears again. 15 seconds left in game one. They're stalling as much as possible. And they should be able to escape with a win here, barring a really quick counter. Yeah, Reaper sends it back toward the wall. And Radiant Sky Blue up 1-0. In the series, maybe finding a fourth, no. Cody can't find it, and Paper Lime will slam it to the ground. Radiant Sky Blue takes game number one of this series. Thank you for the raid, by the way, Spicy Exo. Really appreciate it, brother. <laughs> Move on. To our next map of the day, uh, day, Manfield. Ready for that matchup? Yes, sir, dude. I'm so excited. Manfield Day, by the way. I think I said night by accident. It's just not true. <laughs> Although Manfield Night, like, you know, is objectively better than Manfield Day. You know, it's fine. I'm very, I have a lot, I'm very opinionated, I think, <laughs> on Rocket League maps. But it's just kind of like the best map uh, in the game for me. Ren dropping in chat that someone broke a rule number one. I did not see that at all. I guess I missed it, but whoever broke it. They are doomed now to lose the series, so that's unlucky. You? <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So, Rain Sky Blue up 1-0 in the series over Emerald Pixies right now. As we hop into Game 2 over at Manfield Day, the second map in our rotation the third map will be DFH Stadium, where pretty much every single series has died on my channel. Hoping this will yield a different result as we jump back down to the field. Radiant Sky Blue in their season, currently registering 35 goals for. Tack on those three from uh, just game one, and maybe a fourth as Reaper grabs the infield pass and nails it toward the net but paper lime shuts it down and shuts down cody's shot as well 15 seconds coming gone a lot of pressure on this orange net early maybe even some more as red looking for the corner read can't find it and paper line clears to the midfield line we'll talk about stats later we've got some action going on as cody finally slots it home for sky blue and they get a lead early again here in game two bars cody sends it across the opposite side of the box that he's on it's touched by loki but his touch goes right back over to Cody who just turns it in but yeah rain sky blue 39 goals for in this season and they've only conceded 25 so pretty big goal differential from them and game win percentage is currently 54% which is why they're so low despite the 2-1 record um, in the in the standings as they are only a couple spots out from missing that playoff spot but a win here would be huge especially if it's a 3-0 maybe a second goal coming through for sky blue but accomplish grabs the save as reaper can't extend it fully toward net there and then loki 50 in the midfield that's banked off the side wall ren sends it on target it's wide probably would have hit the post as well but regardless accomplish gets his third save of the game and we're only a minute in Cody sends that skyward, shot back on target, off the crossbar, off a defender, and then Ren takes Radiant Sky Blue's lead up to 2-0, 352 to play. Powerful shot from him, and it doesn't really get a lot of credit for how powerful it was, as <laughs> it does bounce off the crossbar and then a defender, so the game thinks it's 31, it's probably way higher than that, but 
It's all good. 350 to go in Radiant Sky Blue. Up 2-0 early here. Ren trying to make it 3-0, but his touch well wide. Sent away by Accomplished. Cody back across the midfield. Reaper has a shot. No, that's wide. The follow puts it back into the box, but Loki with a powerful clear all the way across the midfield line. And now Loki inside. Paper line. Shot on target. It's in. And it's a goal. What a play from Emerald Pixies. They're within one. A minute 30 to go. What a pass inside from Loki. And Paper Lime coming across from the 18-yard box. And he's going to slot it in. Averaging a goal per game so far are the Emerald Pixies. They need a, a bit more than that. If they don't want to be tasked with a reverse sweep. But Ren is going to make it a lot more difficult to come back in this game. Although we are still early in. 3.22 to go as Reaper with a nice 50 off that side wall. Closer to the corner, and it's got a really good bounce. Not toward net, but actually back out where Ren is. He's closer to the ball. He's got an easier shot. More room to make said shot, and he does make said shot. And puts it in. Radiant Sky Blue up 3-1 now with 3.20 to go. Loki centers it for a teammate. Paper Lime is there, but he is 50 by Cody. Reaper is AFK. He, may, he might have some lag issues. I don't know. But he just kind of stopped. <laughs> Not really sure what happened there, but three minutes to go. Radiant Sky Blue holding on to a 2-1 lead. Reaper still AFK. Now goes for it. I'm very confused as to what's happening, but it's alright. We don't talk about it. That's a nice 50 from Loki. Accomplish up for it. He can't find the touch, though. And Cody takes over. Nice extension from him all the way across the midfield line and swings the possession a little bit. Finds a second touch inside of the box. No one's there. Accomplish can't find... The touch out. Ren trying to do it all himself as Reaper and Cody collide. It's not going to matter. Reaper finally streams through and knocks in a fourth for Sky Blue. Bars 2.33 to go. And Ren just trying to work his way around everybody as he had pretty much no support after that collision in the midfield. But Reaper finally recovers and is able to get to it. And a three-goal cushion now halfway through this second game. And Cody may be trying to make it five. But it will be sent away for now. Ren into the midfield. Accomplish, and I believe that was Paper Lime. Double commit, leaving room for Cody to take it to the air. Looking for the double tap, can't find it. Saved off the crossbar. Loki up to clear it, can't find the touch. Reaper up to it first. Off the back wall and into the midfield, but Accomplish has the clear. Thank you for the sub, by the way, Leo. Really appreciate it. Accomplish maybe getting a second for Emerald Pixies, but he won't be able to do so. And Loki gets on top of that one. Accomplish pops it up. Reaper up for it. Accomplish tries to follow again. And Reaper's just going to take possession as he sends it over to Cody, who sends it right back to Reaper, who works through the midfield. Gets past a couple defenders. Now Cody shot on target near post, though, and Accomplish just has to back into it to get the save, and he does so. But Emerald Pixies really need to swing things into their favor here, and this could be a chance as Accomplish finds Paper Lime again. The passing, they're definitely looking for each other. They have each other in their sights. They're just not always able to uh, get it successfully to one another, especially with the defense that Ray and Sky Blue has been playing. They're able to get on top of these balls early, shut it down usually. Like that clear attempt is going to go right into Ren, and he's going to take it into the net for a fifth goal for Sky Blue. And if that doesn't get broken up and you find better... Because that was a good ball to paper line. He just had a man on. Like, if you go toward it and challenge it, get it away from the defender because you know they're going to be challenging early and shutting down those plays before they can form. It's going to give you a lot more openings to try to work through. Find some passing lanes more because that's what led to their successful goal this game is Reaper almost found a nutty double tap, but he's unable to turn it in. Shot will be registered, though. But those passing lanes need to be opened up just a little more. For Emerald Pixies to really get back into the series as they will be tasked with a reverse sweep barring an insane comeback in this game as Cody tries to put in a sixth. Accomplish takes out Ren and this could open up some room for a counterattack but Paper Lime only seven boost to work with. Ren takes it away and Loki all the way back will clear it away before he's completely taken off the field. And Reaper settles. 36 boost to work with. Flicks over one. He shuts it down. Cody back over, off the back wall. Who's first to it? It's going to be Ren. Slow shot toward the back post and an easy save for Paper Lime. Puts it out toward the box and it's sent away back to Paper Lime. But Cody takes over 20 seconds left and that's going to do it for this second game. Rain Sky Blue. Now on match point after this ball hits the ground. But a really good passing play, I think. 
um, from Emerald Pixies to get that one goal. And if we see more of that in game three, they definitely will take us past DFH Stadium. But right now, if Raidens keeps up the um, the momentum that they've had in this that's been building up really in this series as they win 3-1 in game one and 5-1 in game two. You know, I don't know. It, it seems like it would be pretty hard to come back from. But Emerald Pixies have shown signs of life all series. Accomplished having five saves. That's unheard of. So, you know, they're playing well. They just have to put some final pieces together and it could be it. But we will move on to our next map, DFH Stadium Dusk. I am biased to hating this map because I've just witnessed too many sweeps, but I'm pretty confident that we'll at least get past DFH because man oh man, Pixies, you know, they're down 2-0, but they've been playing well. And Radiance, I mean, I can't really toot their horns too much because I might get biased complaints, but they are <laughs> also playing their hearts out right now and are playing well. They've put in a lot of good goals and they've, I don't know, they've just been working together as a team. However, there is a little thing called last week. We had a bit of a problem, though. Um, or I guess earlier this week. Excuse me, I'm really bad at talking. Uh, Radiant Sky Blue went to five in their twos match, and they said it could have easily been a 3-0. So take that into account. It's possible they get overzealous and and uh, and you know. Give some room to Emerald Pixies that they normally wouldn't have in the coming out of the gate in the series. But they do have uh, Gundam Boy on their side. The master of anti-tilt. So, you know, maybe this is a game where they try to finish it off and stop the bleeding before the bleeding starts. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, Emerald Pixies looking good out of the gate here. As they don't give up an early goal and almost score one, in fact. But it will go off the post and out. Nice challenge in the midfield from accomplishing Reaper. Reaper will get the advantage off of the bat, but it will be sent back into the blue defensive half. And there's a shot from Reaper. What a pass from Cody. 1-0. Eat my words. I will I will gladly eat my words. What a pass from Cody. Completely dimes up Reaper who slams it home. 83 miles per hour. And paper, paper line was almost there. He almost had it. But 420 to go. And another early goal. It's taking longer and longer for Radiance to get that opening goal, as we were two seconds in, and then about 17 seconds, and now for 40 seconds in. But Radiance strike first in the first minute, all three games now. As Loki takes it toward the wall, paper line up for it off the backboard, but can't find contact. And the first minute successfully come and gone with only one goal being conceded in total, maybe a second. Coming in for Sky Blue, entering that second minute, but it will be accomplished, taking it across to Paper Lime, who gets a good challenge with Cody. Now Cody following up, 40 boost to work with, puts it into the midfield for Reaper. Reaper, nice touch from him, looking for a second. Gets a challenge with Accomplish, but Accomplish will win it. Now Loki to extend downfield. It will be a registered shot, but it will be Ren with the save. Fakes out one on the wall, and now looks in field. Broken up by Accomplish, and really good defensive play here for Emerald uh, Pixies. In this third game, now they got to transition it into offense at least once to tie it. Accomplished looking infield for Loki, but Cody sends it away. Now Paper Lime can't pinch it all the way. Cody to the backboard, beats two. Ren there for the follow and the finish. He won't be able to, but he puts enough pressure on that last defender to try to get the clear off the goal line, and he's unable to do so. Loki jumps for it. Accomplished jumps for it. It's going to be Paper Lime left to try to clear it, and he can't. And that is two for Radiance Sky Blue. A goal per minute here in this sec uh, third match at DFH. Accomplish. Up to himself. A light touch and actually nearly centers it as well. But Reaper takes it away and now finds Ren. Ren back to Reaper. Reaper into the middle. Into the net. And into a 3-0 lead with 2.58 to go. Lots of demos flying in that play. A nice play between Reaper and Ren. And Reaper just has to walk it in there. Great play from him in three minutes to go now. It's getting tougher and tougher for Emerald Pixies to get back in this series and in this game as there's a fourth run off the kickoff. Radiant Sky Blue show up here in game three. To be fair, they, they've kind of been here the whole series. <laughs> but, uh, wow. 
What a statement here. Another full possession win from Reaper as he takes it to the air. Air dribble for him, turning it inside. Oh, oh registered a, a shot on target, but accomplished grabs the save. It's off the ceiling. Loki's read it. Accomplished takes out one. It's open and it's in. Emerald Pixies grab their first of game number three. They're now averaging a goal per game still. Thank you, Ben Geek. He drove it in. He didn't walk it in. Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cody. Trying to extend that lead back up to five, but Accomplish grabs another save. His defense has been immaculate. If he doesn't get some sort of brick wall medal at the end of this week, I will be very shocked because <laughs> he has put up such a defensive display. As Accomplish clears it over to Loki and bails out his team from conceding a fifth. Can't find that touch, but Paper Lime actually gets it off to the side, at least to midfield. Sends it all the way back toward the back wall, setting up Reaper by accident, and Reaper's found the read. 5-1, he's going to open up a library pretty soon with all these read plays he's had just over the past circuit. That's a great ball into the net. And uh, Paper Lime <coughs> accidentally sitting up the other team, but it's all good. Didn't mean to, and he's been playing his heart out all game, so, you know, big respect. It's, it's definitely a daunting task to look a, a four-goal deficit in the eye and be like, yeah, we could take care of it, but they could do it. It's Loki. Off the wall, Ren. Shot is wide. Reaper back inside over to Cody. Cody for the read. Shot on target. Bounces it off the crossbar and out. And Loki takes it to the side. Into the middle for Accomplish. Can't find the touch. Paper Lime takes over toward net. Beats two off the crossbar. The follow from Accomplish wide. Paper Lime back in nearly found an insane angle. But it'll go wide. And now Accomplish looking for a corner read. Actually backs it out to Loki who's missed it. And now Reaper goes the other way. But Accomplish doesn't let him get possession that easily. As Cody sends it over to Ren. Now Paper Lime back over to Loki. Loki shot on target. There's a second for Emerald Pixies. Their most in a singular game this series. And what a ball ahead from Lime. And Loki gets it past Codes. And a nice shot. Four goals this series from Emerald Pixies. But they need to pretty much double that count by the end of this match. If they want to stay in the series. Ran off the back wall. Accomplish has a nice read. Loki over Cody. Paper Lime off the ceiling. Ren has to deal with this one as Accomplish approaches but it will be saved back inside, but Cody will be first to it over to Reaper. Accomplish gets in the way, a minute to go. Maybe a third, almost found an angle there. He does find a shot on target, now Paper Lime inside. Cody clears, ran up for it to try to find Reaper in the midfield. Reaper does not respect the pass though from Ren. I don't think he thought he was gonna get there in time. 40 seconds to go. Paper Lime, broken up by Cody, now Ren. A light touch. Back to Cody off the back wall. Paper Lime clears. 30 seconds to go in Emerald Pixie's match life here. Ren shot on target. Saved by Accomplish. His third. Reaper back in, and that will definitely be the dagger. That will send P Emerald Pixies home with an 0 and 4 record. And with a higher ga game differential now, as it will be uh, four instead of one, this will definitely help their standings, and they will definitely move up from 14th. My projected seed from them will be um, at least 10th, as Reaper looks for a 7th, and he'll find it on the breakaway. And Loki's already gone. Uh, uh-oh. That is unlucky. <laughs> Eight seconds to go. And Loki's just up and dipped. Not the best way to handle it, but I get the frustration, I guess. And that will sit eventually, maybe so. Yeah, okay, cool. Radiance will take the win 3-0 over Emerald Pixies. They will stay at about 26th place.
Radiant Sky Blue projected seed after this 3-0 win will be about 10th after the week is said and done. 